Hello, everybody. You know what time it is. It's time for Hobo the Hobo's Joke of the Day. Get ready, folks. World-breaking, eye-witnessing revolution tonight. We're going to blow your mind. I am Batman. That's right. I got tired of lurking in the shadows. I got tired of being unknown. See? I am the Batman. There's a lot of posers. There's a lot of wannabes. There's a lot of imposters. There's a lot of imitators. There's a lot of little kids be buying my suit for Halloween and Christmas. They be watching Batman movies and animated and all this stuff. And Michael Keaton and Jack Nicholson and Christian Bale and all these clowns. Listen, there's only one Batman, and I am the Batman. All right, folks. And here's how I'm going to prove to you I'm Batman. Because as Batman, I have observed five ridiculous games adults be playing. That's right. Listen, there ain't no prize for it. There ain't no Olympic gold medal. There ain't no free yacht. There ain't a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. You don't win a vacation. Listen, folks, quit playing these ridiculous games and let's get on with life. And here's what these five games adults be playing is. The first game y'all be playing is how high can you stack the dishes after you wash them? Look like three apple towers done fell from Mars upside down in your kitchen. And you better hope nobody sneezes because you're going to blow the plates all over the place. The coffee pot's going to hit the floor and you're going to have a fork in your foot and you're going to have to go to the emergency room. How are you going to explain that? Game number two, y'all be playing that blows Batman's mind. Listen, folks, you know what it is? I don't understand it. Here's what it is. Y'all be playing this game. How long can we drive with the gas light on? I mean, you get together with all your friends and your fancy cruising cars, old and new and low and slow, and you ride around with about 25 buddies backing up traffic. All of you got your gas light on. Listen, that's ridiculous. Go get some gas. Name it a dollar forty nine a gallon. Hey, listen, folks. The third game y'all be playing, blow my mind. This is how you're going to know that I'm the real Batman because I'm exposing you tonight. This, this is a game adults play. Is I have never seen grown men and women jump, twist, fly, dive, throw away. Oh, listen, I ain't never seen y'all move so fast. And that is the game. How much cleaning can I get done after the doorbell rings before I answer the door? That's right. Y'all be jumping, looking, spinning, sweeping. All just, it's ridiculous. Just answer the door. If you keep your house clean all the time, you'll be clean at the right time. You know what I'm saying? Listen, listen. The fourth game y'all be playing don't make no sense to me. It's why y'all your wash machine be blowing up. And that is how much laundry can we stuff in the wash machine? Come on, folks. And the last game y'all be playing, I've been an eyewitness to it. That's right. How many bags of groceries can we carry in one trip? Ridiculous. Anyway, folks, let's get on with the show. Hey, my wife played this dirty joke on me. See, in the bathroom we got used to be a closet. And they converted this little uh, four by eight closet into a bathroom. And I'm appreciated. That way you ain't got to walk clear to the other end of the house to go to the bathroom. So in this little bathroom, they got two light switches. One light switch turns on the makeup lighting. That's right. It's 10,000 watts of light that'll burn your face off like the sun so women can put makeup on. I don't use light switch number one. I use light switch number two. Now, number two turns on the exhaust fan in the bathroom with a 15-watt appliance bulb. Therefore, you don't see quite as clearly, but at least I don't get my face burnt off like a blowtorch. Anyway, my wife decided to rearrange the vanity. In other words, she switched around where stuff used to be into its new place. Well, Batman, I like to have clean, fresh teeth. So Batman was reaching in the vanity to brush his teeth. Now listen, folks, this is what I brush my teeth with. That's my toothpaste that I use. But there's another thing that looks very much like toothpaste, and my wife switched them around. That's right. She sure did. These two look an awful lot alike. So listen, I couldn't half talk for three days. But I did notice one thing. It took care of all the wrinkles on my face. <laughs> hey, 
pay attention to what you're doing, you get yourself in a mess. Listen, I got an, I got one of my observations before I tell you the joker today, and here's what I've been observing. You know that it is illegal for athletes to take steroids. That's right. It's illegal for athletes to take steroids. Well, if it's illegal for athletes to take steroids, I think it ought to be illegal for Hollywood to use Photoshop. Hey, I'm just telling you the truth. All right, folks, let's get on with the joke. Today's joke comes to us from Statesville, North Carolina. Listen, I'm, I may not pronounce his name right. Get over it if I mispronounce it. All right, from Statesville, North Carolina. Big old, big old guy. He works out. He trying to look like me. Anyway, here we go, folks. His name is Eel Earson. All right. Thank you, Mr. Eel Earson, for sending this fabulous joke in today. Hope you're doing good. Listen, here's a joke today from Statesville, North Carolina, from a Eel Earson. A country preacher decided to skip service one Sunday and head to the hills and do some bear hunting. As he rounded the corner on a perilous twist in the trail, he and the bear collided, sending him and his rifle tumbling down the mountainside. Well, before he knew it, the preacher's rifle went one way and the preacher went the other, landing on a rock breaking both his legs. That was the good news. The bad news was the ferocious bear was headed down the mountain charging at him in the distance and he couldn't move. Well, the preacher offered up a prayer and he said, Lord, please forgive me for skipping out on church today and going to hunt bear. Please forgive me and answer just one prayer request. Lord, please make this bear into a Christian bear coming at me. Amen. At that very instant, when that country preacher said amen, that bear skidded to a halt, fell to his knees, clasped his bear claws together, and began to pray. The preacher was sighing some relief. And here's what the bear prayed. Dear Lord, Thank you for this meal I'm about ready to eat. I got to go, folks. <laughs> got to fight some time.